So I'm going to be using um, an acrylic block. I've got the paper on each side, but I'm going to show you that. You know, I've been obsessed with these, but I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to paint on it, okay? And I'm using the new IOD Hello Pumpkin mold, all right? I think I'll go ahead and make, uh, we'll make up our resin, pour it in, and then we'll come back to the uh, acrylic block, okay? So I've got a cup here. I have it marked for part A and part B. I'm using fast cast resin and you use equal parts of each one. So that's why I have it marked. You do it by volume, not by weight, because one is thicker than the other. So, all right, and this one is a little different. It wants you to pour it in, mix it, and pour it in another cup. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna use my part A. This one on this mark. Now you do want to kind of um, get down eye level with it. I'm gonna hold it because I don't trust my table. All right. So you try to get as even as you can with each part. Okay. All right, and then we're. Good. All right, so now I'm going to have to count. Y'all can't talk because i got to pay attention. <laughs> i got to count for 30 seconds, and i got to pour it in another cup. Ooh, which that cup has something in it. Okay, I think that's 30. Pour it in another cup. mix up too much of this at one time because it does cure fast, hence the name, fast cast. Let's see about getting this leaf as well. I'm just going to try to ease that in there with my stick. You can cut away any stuff that's... Uh, Another one. I've got more. Now, a lot of times I like to color my resin with uh, powders, but I think this one I want to paint. See how it's turning white? Let's just move this out of the way. So I'm going to paint on the glass or on the acrylic here, but it's going to be my back. It's going to be my background, okay? So I've got sea glass. This is DIY clay-based paint, and it, you can paint it right on glass and, you know, right on, you know, slick surfaces like this. I've got uh, gypsy green. Gypsy green. And I've got White Swan. All right, I'm gonna use a, a little palette knife. You can use a paintbrush or whatever you would like. What I'm trying to think of is when I do this on the front, like if you were doing it on a canvas, um, I love to use white last, okay? Because I like some white on the top. But when I'm doing this as my background, um, I'm thinking my white needs to be first because it's, it's going to kind of show up in the foreground. So let's just try this. All right, so I've got this uh, white. I'm just going to kind of rub it on here. Okay. So 
I don't want just blobs like that. I kind of want it to look like more of a watercolor, more of a blending. I will link my um, Amazon store for these because I think you're really going to love this. If it, let me, let's just wait. Let's, let's see if it turns out. <laughs> Now, I'm lightly doing this. I'm not, like, uh, scraping hard. Again, it will kind of, it'll scrape your, and you can actually go back in with some more white, where you see it makes a little hole. So, this paint is very forgiving, but when you seal it, it's, you know, it's great. And you can uh, spritz it if it starts drying on you. Now, I do want to use some green. Not a whole lot. Let's see about this brown again. this now. So when you do this, there's going to be some thin areas, okay? And we're going to come back and fill those in. Okay, so let's just, let's try to see what this looks like. I'm going to dry it. If you're using a canvas or a piece of wood, this is going to be your surface. Whereas when I'm doing it on this uh, block, it's going to be my background. Like when I'm when you're going to see through the block. All right, let's take a peek. Take a peek. Ooh, I'm nervous. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what I wanted. Here's our back, and then I want to turn around, and I want to, now there's some clear spots. Y'all can see I'm going to fill them in, but here is the background, see? So here's our things, okay, that we made. So here's the pumpkin. It just pops right out. Look at that. All right. Okay. That is going to be so pretty. Okay. I'm so excited, y'all. So let's see. I'm going to use a little bit of. And all these colors will be pretty, just kind of even if they blend together a little bit. I don't want them solid. Again, I'm using Gypsy Green. And you can even, um, if you kind of wanted to do it like watercolor, you can um, just wet your brush. And just kind of move, move this paint around. This paint does pretty. Uh, it does really well, kind of like a watercolor. See how it just spreads? You can wet your brush like that and just move the paint around. Yeah, I just kind of want it to look watercolorish. Not, not completely solid, just really light. All right, so look, we're going to paint this. Okay, I'm using a white swan.
Oh, and by the way, these blocks come in uh, different sizes. So if you wanted the big pumpkin, if you wanted to use that, these come in big sizes too. And they come in smaller. This one is a six by six. But they come as small as three by three, I believe. So, I just think they make the cutest little, you know, shelf sitters or beignet, you know, little pieces. All right, I'm just gonna add just a little bit. Again, you know, to blend any colors, you know, you just need a little bit of water. I feel like it may need a little bit more white on top, but I'm going to dry it a little bit first. Um, all right, there is our little pumpkin. I'm going to glue it on there. I'll just have to, um, I'll make a picture, but how cute is that? You can even do it. I may, I may kind of do it off to the side like that, not have it centered.